City, welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. This time, we're not doing a stream actually, this time we're doing a short little video here. Uh, just to go over the newest update in, in the game, because if you look at Dr. Briefs right now, what he's saying, the time machine is finally ready after months, after like two months, two or three months. Dr. Briefs finally finished the time machine, aka the time machine update finally came out. So now we're going to go check it out. See what it has to offer, and yeah, it should be interesting. So, so he's got the time machine up and running. Come see me by the time machine outside of Capital Corp. So we will do that. You can now use the time machine. And I don't care about the Dragon Ball. So uh, off camera, I have been doing a little bit of stuff. Like I said, I was going to work on Piccolo and Trunks's skill trees. I didn't do much. But I do, you know, since we're going to the time machine, I thought it would just be fitting to play with Vegeta. Oh, wait, hold on. With Gohan, there was a thing. Huh? It said Mixed Blood. Wait, who was it? Was it Goten? Yeah, it was Mixed Blood Saiyan. Plus 5% to all stats for 20 seconds. Oh, okay. I didn't realize this thing. Let's put Vegeta for Vegeta's family. And yeah, you know, I just feel I just figured that if we're going to go to the time machine, who better to play as than Trunks? So, yeah, I'll meet you guys outside. We're going to run out here. And Oh, speaking of Dr. Priest, oh, will he say no. anything about the time machine? I think I should think of some new invention. No, that's all he says. All right. Well, we're going to head outside. And I'll see you guys at the time machine. Alright, so now we're outside. Heading over to the time machine. It's right here. And we're just going to take a look at what it has to offer. Now, I kind of know what it what it is. So, that's why I didn't do a whole stream. It wasn't really worth doing a whole stream. But we're going to go back to some of this stuff. So, there you are. The time machine is fully operational now. This will be able to travel back in time and relive past events. Alright, so let's read this. The time machine will allow you to travel back in time to replay main story chapters you've already completed. It is a great way to play stories you've missed or get a better rank on others. Oh, so yeah, like I, like I thought, it will let you go back and redo some of the boss fights and stuff. This is something I actually talked about in stream that I hope they added. And so it's here at the time machine. Now, I'm not going to stream it because, I mean, there's no reason to... I might do like one or two of the boss fights that I liked in this video, but there's no point of doing an entire stream on it. That's probably what we'll do. So you will have control over characters from that point in the story, but all their stats and items will remain as they were before you travel back to that. Okay, that's an important point. So, but... So basically, I think what it's saying, so I'm wondering if that means it'll be how it was when I played back then, or if it'll be a set level. Like, will it be, does it actually like remember the data from when I, like on this, on this save file, when I was back in that time? Like say if I go back to Saiyan Saga, will it be the same level and items from the Saiyan Saga, or will it just be a set level, like from my Saiyan Saga? It's a good, well, I guess we'll find out, I'm not really sure. But I'm completing, upon completing a sub-story in the past, it'll be completed on returning to your original time is low. So it's basically saying if you do a side quest when you go back in the past, it'll stay completed. All right. The following rules apply when traveling through time. Main story items cannot be taken to the past. Main story item cannot be taken to your original time. Any progress in sub stories in original time cannot be carried over to the past. Any in progress sub stories in the past cannot be carried over to your original time. While you're in the past, you cannot save or auto save. Okay. That's a that's an important thing you can't save. So You'd have to do everything to come back and save. Okay. When you wish to return to your original time, either complete the selected story or cancel the story from the story menu. Even when you cancel the story, you will retain all stats you acquired, such as EXP and super attacks, along with any soul emblems or items obtained. So it's basically saying when you go back, you get stuff. So, um, so you see sub stories. Oh, it actually tells you how many sub stories you have left. So I've done all of them. This is like oh, I already checked this, but yes, I've done every side quest. And if you haven't seen that, uh, if this is your first Kakarot video of mine you're seeing, I've done a bunch of streams. So if you want to go see my full playthrough, there's a playlist on my channel. So you can go look at that and see my entire gameplay of Kakarot. We 100 percent of the game. So, yeah, but uh, let's go back to Chapter 2 because I kind of want to fight Frieza again. Now, on my own time, I might go back and try to get better ranks on some of these. Like, see, I only got an A rank here. So can you just... Wait, what does X do? Confirm? So oh, okay, so if there's sub-stories... And you can see them on this menu. Okay. Yeah, like, see, you can see where the sub-stories are at. But I've already done everything. So, I low-key just want to fight Frieza again. Is Vegeta versus Frieza. Uh, so, if I start here, will it continue through until I get to intermission again? Like, I don't know how it works. Like, so if I go back in time, is it basically I replay the entire game? I guess we're going to find out. I did want to fight Frieza again, though. Because I really... Like, I don't know. I just thought that that boss fight was cool. Uh... I guess we'll just do Super Saiyan. I don't remember which one it was. Awakened Anger, maybe? Let, let's just start here. Uh, you have this technique. Use the story. We'll begin 
with the corresponding Super Dragon. No. Okay, so it's gonna remove auto the auto Super Saiyan to to auto take off Super Saiyan two, Super Saiyan three, and auto Super Saiyan two. That's fine. Are you sure you want to replay the story? Yeah. So we're gonna go back and look at it. I just wanted to do some of the boss fights again. They did like them. Um, probably not gonna watch the cutscenes because I mean, I if you didn't see my last video on Kakura, I just uploaded all the cutscenes in the game. Like that, my last video was. All the cutscenes, so I'm probably just gonna skip over the cutscenes and we're just gonna focus on doing the fights. For this fight though, I remember one of the people in my stream, I think it was either Jason or Brady, one of them told me that I beat Frieza too fast and missed a move that he has. So we'll probably we'll look at that in this video. I'll try not to beat it too fast, but yeah, so close the menu once you're ready to begin the quest. Why is it open this up? That's weird. Why does it why does it open this? Um Okay, well that's interesting. So I, you see my Mega Mask 5, I had 50% EXP, that's still on. So I guess that stays? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's letting me like change my moves and stuff? Oh, that's cool. That's actually cool, I don't think you can see this normally. What about my my skill tree, will that... Okay, no, so my skill tree stays maxed out. So let's look at my moves. Uh, ult so, do I get to keep all these moves? Because if so, that doesn't make sense to me that I would be allowed to use some of these moves. Um. I just try not to use too many. Like, probably won't use Dragon Fist. I'm gonna keep coming my hell. But like I said, I don't want to beat it too too fast. Oh, and you see, it took off Auto Super Saiyan. Now, will it put it back when I go back to the future? Because I'm hoping. Because I, it'd be kind of annoying if I have to keep re-equipping it each time. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I don't really need Auto Super Saiyan either, huh? Because he's already Super Saiyan. So, and then I can check my community boards too. Um. So, yeah, this is the community board. Um, yeah, all my community boards are still the same. Alright, so, I guess this should, I guess the main point of this is just to equip items, um, change your moves and stuff, and uh, level up your community boards if you really want to. So what I, that's all it seems like. So, we're going to go back. Yeah, let's begin the quest now. That's kind of cool how it open up, opens up that menu for you. And then, um, you already, What's going on? I think I already uploaded yeah, I already up. We're just gonna skip the cutscenes. We've already seen all this. That's this is still cool to me. Oh, legendary Super Saiyan. Yeah, no reason to rewatch all these cutscenes. We've already seen it. So we're just gonna skip through, and I'll I'll get to the fight. All right, so here we are. Now we're at the fight. Right, if you look in the top right. Oh wow. Jeez, I one shot him. Why did? I Jeez. I just one shot Frieza. All right. Well, I did not think I was gonna slap Frieza like that. Jeez. But wait, was I the same? I didn't even get to see if my level was the same or anything. Uh, we'll, ch we'll check again coming up. But like, geez, I did not expect to just one shot Frieza like that. Oh my god. Because if you actually keep your level... But no, it said that you should be down to your level at when you... Unless I read it wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it said. That you're going to be at the level you were at when you were at this point in the story. So why did I one shot Frieza? Alright, we're in the fight again. But look, oh yeah, see, so I'm still level 132 right now. I don't think I'm supposed to be though, right? I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be like higher level. That's really weird to me. But I kind of don't want to attack Frieza because I'm definitely gonna one shot him. I want to see some of his moves. I know one of them, someone in my my actual playthrough. Okay, so I can shoot Key Blast to get his health lower a little bit. One of them, someone said that I missed one of Frieza's moves. I beat it too fast. So I can just kind of. Yeah, I don't like that you're like. Then I'm still keeping my levels because this is like way too easy now. He's doing the death ball, so I can do the gut punch on him. So literally, <laughs> well, hopefully that won't kill. I did the gut. Bye. Oh, it killed. Well, <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna kill. Well, uh, I might do this again. Just so it looks like you do just keep going through the story though. Just cool. So uh, we might come back and redo that again, so I don't miss anything. <laughs> but yeah. So, I mean, I got S-Ranks on everything now, though. <laughs> but I don't like that you keep your level, though, because that, that seems, like, a little bit too broken, in my opinion. Because, yeah, my Goku was still, like, 132. I don't know if he was supposed to be, but... Uh, so there should be a way for me to quit. I think while I'm in the fight, I can, like, just quit. So, we're gonna go back and redo that fight again. So, I'll see y'all then. Oh, okay. So, uh, just, yeah, it automatically took me back here. So it looks like after you beat one of the four chapter things, it'll just automatically bring you back. That's cool. So I've returned to the present. So 
So now let me go check. Since we're here now, I want to go check my Goku. Did it put my know-how back on this Auto Super Saiyan 3? If not, that's a little bit annoying, but let's see. Um, It did not put it back on. So you do have to re- So when it unequips things, you have to put it back on. Uh, we're going to go try that Frieza fight again. I'm not going to do the Gut Punch this time because that insta-killed him. We're going to go do it again. So I guess it was... I'm guessing we have to do Legendary Super Saiyan, right? Because Awakened Anger, yeah. I think it's just I think it's just this one. So we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna not like fight free. I, I don't like that you keep your levels. It, it cause didn't it say that you wouldn't keep your levels? But then I did. I don't know. We're gonna go back to fight Frieza again. Yeah, I know we took off Super Saiyan 2. So okay, so it did put Super Saiyan 2 and 3 back on automatically. So it does keep your transformations, just not your know hows. Which is weird to me. But uh yeah, let's replay the story. Uh yeah, let's let's hop in. So again, I'm gonna just skip to the fight and uh, hopefully not one shot Frieza so yeah let's go all right so we're fighting Frieza again now uh we're so when he does the death ball also I don't know if I pointed this out before but in the top left it's even says replaying story that's pretty cool but um yeah I'm gonna hopefully not one shot Frieza I'm just gonna let him do his moves I'm pr I don't, don't bosses change their moves like don't they get new moves when they're at lower health and uh hold on I want to check my moves real quick yeah, so I still have like limit break on my hell and all that. So I kind of don't like this because I wanted to replay this boss fight and have fun, but like I'm too broken to even like enjoy this boss fight. I wish it would lower your levels, like maybe make you equal to the boss, if anything. Like since Freeze is level 35, make me level 35. Like make you equal to the enemies around at least because I, I don't like that I'm broken. Because now it's just there's no reason for me to. Because I, cause I thought this was going to be cool so I could go back and redo some of the boss fights, but. It's not even worth it if I'm just this broken. So, um, I'm just gonna kind of shoot some key blasts at Freezer. Death Beam. Just chill. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of do this to try to get his health lower. We're doing Death Ball now. You know, I should let him throw it. I wanna see what happens if he actually. Does. I think I've seen it before, actually. Or I can just do this. <laughs> there we go. No, I'm not gonna do the follow up because I will kill him. <laughs> Don't wanna do that. Um, he's still stunned. Yeah, I don't like that I'm this broken still, like that I kept my levels. I wish it would lower your level. Because then that would give it a, at least a little bit of replayability. So I'd have a reason to come back and do these boss fights. Like, to have fun, but... If it's like this, I can't have fun. Like, look, he just did one damage to me. I'm gonna do this death slice. Yeah, okay, it's like, this just isn't fun, because I I'm just too broken for this. So, I just wanted to see some of Frieza's moves. Um... I, I, like... Hold on, I want to go back to the Vegito fight because I want to know if my how high level would my Vegito be. I don't know how the levels work for that. So we'll do that next, and then we'll probably just end it off. See, that's why I didn't want to do a whole stream. Well, I'm glad I didn't do a whole stream because I didn't know. Because maybe if the boss fights were actually harder, I would have done a stream. But since it's like this, and I'm just one-shotting everything, I kind of don't like it. Because like to me, this just isn't fun. Like, why? Why would I? No, I mean, I'll probably go back and use this just to get S ranks on everything. But other than that. Just because, like, I'm kind of, you know, I like complete. I'm a completionist like that. I like to have good ranks and everything. I don't know. It's just my OCD, maybe. But uh, other than that, this just isn't fun. Because I'm just slapping Frieza. I could literally tap him on the shoulder, grab, like, squeeze his tail a little bit, and then he's dead. Like, I don't like that. I, I want to have at least some fun. Like, I wanted to go back and redo these boss fights again for fun. Like, you know, it would have been cool to go back at the same level, actually have a good boss fight, but. Ah, it's just this. So what is this move? Death Ball again? Okay. Well, I mean, he just dodge it. He did Death Ball and Death Beam. I'm just trying to see. I don't know what the special move that the guy in my stream is talking about. I don't remember which one it was. It was either Brady or Jason, one of them. So I don't know what the special move is, but, like, I'm just going to let it play out. And then after this, we'll do the Vegito fight. I'm assuming I'm going to be high level 2. But I want to know. Like, I don't know how the leveling works. Is it? Does it take the level of my... Goku or my Vegeta? Like, does it take the level of the higher level character? I think my Goku is higher level, so if my Vegeta is 132, then we'll know. So we'll see, but we'll go do that fight after this. It's still probably going to be just as easy. Which, again, I don't like, because, you know, especially with the Vegito boss fight, we didn't get to play much Vegito. So I would have loved to go back. <clears throat> Sorry, I coughed, but I was saying I would have loved to go back and actually fought Boo again and maybe, like, dragged on the fight longer. Get to get more playtime as Vegito, but they need to really change this then if 
uh, I don't know if you're supposed to keep your levels or if that's like a glitch. Maybe, you know, maybe they'll update it again and then it'll be fun and I can redo the boss fights, but as of right now, this, this update's not really that good. It's really only good for complete side quests, but I mean, if it's like this, then it's not even fun to complete the side quests because you would just like blaze through them. So I guess the only point of this is to unlock like soul emblems and stuff. That's really the only reason I could see you using this. Um... But I'm going to let the fight drag on a little bit longer just to see if Frieza does any of those moves. Because he's low health, right? So he should do a special move. He has Death Slicer, sure. Can I drag the Death Slicer back to him? That would have been cool. But, yeah, I'm just like too broken for this. Is this how Goku felt when fighting Frieza? He was just slapping him? Is this what it feels like to be Goku? This is boring. <laughs> High key boring. But, this is like Dragon Ball Super Goku coming back to fight Namek Frieza. Like, it, it's, it's not worth it at all. But... He's doing death ball. Oh, I got hit by it. So, um, shoot another key blast at him. Hopefully, I won't kill. No, okay. So, he's at like the lowest low health now. So, let's see if he does anything special. If not, then I'm just gonna end the fight. I just wanted to see if he'd do it. Oh, what's the. Is this the one? Is this the move? This looks like death ball again. Oh, no. Okay, here it is. This is different. Death slicer. So, he's doing actual death slicer now. Oh, okay, and they, oh, and then they come back. Okay, yeah, this is what I didn't see, I don't think. Okay, so this looks like the special move that free. This is actually kind of cool. Hold on, I like this. I think I, I'm pretty sure I did not see this before. Yeah, this is kind of dope. I'm seeing this now. Okay. Okay, I'm glad I came back to see it then. But, um, I guess let's just murder him now. All right, well, I'm going to go do the Vegito fight now. I only got an A rank, really? I guess because I didn't beat it fast enough, but... Yeah, I'm going to skip over to the Vegito fight, so I'll see you guys for that, and then, uh, after that, I guess that's the end of the video, because I didn't, this, this doesn't need to be that long, so, yeah, I just wanted to take a little peek at the Time Machine update, really not worth it, really, I just wish you would have kept your levels, like, or not kept it, like, I'll talk about it when we go back, hold on, just to correct myself, but, I didn't mean kept, I meant, like, I hope, I wish you didn't keep your levels, but, yeah, let's just, uh, let's go do the Vegito fight. Alright, so now we're on the boo fight, and, um, okay, that's interesting, Vegito is actually not at a higher level, so, it's looking like Vegito just has a set level, okay, that, that's cool, I like this, I do like this, so, this boss fight should be fun, because now Vegito's actually at a set level, he's, he's only level 75, so, it's looking like for Vegito in this game, maybe that's why they haven't added him playable yet, because, it seems like he just has a set level to fight against Boo. Like, he doesn't take the level of Goku Vegeta and, like, or take the level of the higher one. For this, he just has a set level. So, it looks like they only, they programmed Vegito to only be level 75. So, that's cool. So, this boss fight should actually be kind of fun, going back to play it. So, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be the same for Gotenks, then. Because you didn't get a chance to, like, level them up or anything. So, that'll be kind of, this is kind of dope. Okay, I like this. This boss fight should actually be pretty, pretty fun. And I, I don't know why I dropped the combo like that. I didn't mean to. Evil Buster. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I'm enjoying this. See, this is what I wanted with the Goku fight. I don't know why they didn't just do that. Because they could have just done the same thing, just like, you know, when you go back to play. Oh, I didn't realize he had a sword in his combo. Hold on. I want to try to get a stun off on Boo. I don't think I saw what that looks like. So I kind of want to try that. But, so this might be a fight I just do for fun sometimes. But, I mean, I wish the other fights were like this. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's only going to be Gotenks and Vegito that are like this. Purely because they're the only fusions. They were the only characters with set levels, so to me it just makes sense that they would be the only ones. I mean, it's kind of disappointing, and I wish there was more like that, but fortunately, it's not, so I guess we're just going to have to deal with it, um, but yeah, come here, we'll square up. So, yeah, hopefully I can get a stun, but I think I'm killing him too fast. Evil bomb, okay. And I'm actually taking a good amount of damage. See, like, this is what I wanted, so that way I'm not insta-killing the boss. I'm actually having some fun with it, you know? We're pretty even right now. I, I wanted to get a, a stun off, though, as my main goal. I don't think I've seen what Spirit Sword or anything looks like with the stun. I kind of want to see that. Hopefully I don't kill him before then, though. Ow. <laughs> Vegeta said idiot. If I don't get the stun off here, then I'll, uh, I might just do it off-screen or whatever. If I do it off screen, I'll, I'll probably record it still, so, but. Hold on. It's almost done. Dodge. Oh. He's so close. He's so close. Come on, get the stun. Get the stun before anything. Before we kill him, get the stun. 
There it is. Alright. I want to see what Spirit Sword looks like with the stun. There it is. Ooh. Ooh, that looks so clean. Okay, I love it. I love it. There we go. We got that off at least. Okay, I just wanted to see that. But, uh, yeah, so that's basically it, though, for the Time Machine update. So, it's looking like Boo. Or if you want to have fun fights, like, if you want to go back and do some boss fights and have, and have fun, this fight is definitely one of them. And I'm going to assume Go Tanks is the same, just because those are the two fusions, and the fusions in this game seem to not take the level of, like, the, um... Of your characters like they don't level up they stay at a set level so that's why pretty sure uh it just makes sense to me for go tanks to be the same so yeah um we're gonna head back to the future now and then we'll end off the video this video is not that long just wanted to show off some stuff so yeah we'll go back all right real quick i just wanted to show off that if you do want to go back to the future uh, all you do is go so you, you go here you click story and then it'll show you like the mission you're on and then what you do is you hit Y to hit cancel replay. And then you and then it'll send you back to the future. So you don't so that's how you can like save and all that. So after this, so you can see it's saying like with, with the battle against Majibu at an end, but yada yada yada. So basically now we're heading back to the future. And then I guess I'll finish up the video because yeah, it really wasn't much to this time machine update. I'm kinda disappointed because you don't have lower levels. When you go back, I mean, it's cool for getting, like, S ranks and stuff, but in terms of, like, the boss fights, I kind of wanted to have fun with those boss fights, you know, like, refighting the bosses. I mean, Vegito and Gotenks seem like the go-to for that right now, but at the same time, it's kind of disappointing, because that's the only time you can play as Vegito or, or Gotenks. And, yeah, I just wish you could play with them after, but they sh if they do update the time machine again, I do hope that they don't let you keep all your levels. I mean, I guess take it... Take advantage of it for now. I am having problems with your time machines. I don't. I keep my levels when I go back there. I don't want to. Uh, I don't think he says anything else. Yeah, time machine. I already talked to him about that. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for the time machine. Just kind of disappointed. Uh, I guess for now, I'll take advantage of it to get all my S ranks. But after that, I just want to be lower level. <laughs> like, I guess for now, it's good that I'm higher level because I can S rank everything easy. Uh, especially the ones I got like B ranks and stuff on. Like, yeah, I can go back and do those. But other than that, I kind of hope that they don't keep this. One thing I didn't check is if you can level up in the past and if that'll affect the future. I don't, I don't, I didn't check that, but I feel like you can't. I don't know. If, to me, it just wouldn't make sense. Like, I feel like if you level up in the past, then. Well, no, because you keep your levels, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, so it would affect the future because you keep your levels. I, I was thinking of like Vegito, how he's lower level, but. Uh, yeah, you don't. You keep your levels, so it doesn't matter, but. I wish you could. I wish that you didn't keep your levels, but then you couldn't level up in the past. That would make sense. But, yeah, so I think if they do update it again, they just need to add that. But, yeah, this, this update was kind of lacking. Especially now that I'm, like, done with the game. Like, done, done with the game. I don't like it that much. It's like, yeah, but I mean, if you've missed any side quests and stuff, and if you're like me and you want to S-rank missions, that's perfect. This is perfect for you to use. But, I mean... It, this could have been a way to give the game some more replay value, but now it doesn't have any replay value. Like, it still doesn't. Because I was hoping that the boss fights would at least be fun. Like, I get to go back, fight some of the bosses again. And just have fun, you know, fighting these bosses. But now I'm just, like, one-shotting them, and it's like, well, great. Like, like you know, I don't I don't want to play it now, because there's no reason for me to. Like, why would I go back in time to one-shot a boss, you know? But, yeah, that's just my little rant about it. But, yeah, so for now, that's it for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Um, until the, we get the Battle of Gods DLC, because that is coming soon, that is confirmed. They're getting Battle of Gods DLC. There was actually a scan that I'll probably put up on screen right now that showed God Goku and God Vegeta. So God Vegeta is going to be in this DLC, which I'm assuming what this means is we're going to see some bonus stuff that we didn't see in Battle of Gods and, and all that, showing Vegeta going Super Saiyan God. Now, the only thing I hope with this DLC is that Goku and Vegeta get that as like a transformation that you can equip so i can go god at will that's the only thing i'm hoping but we'll see what happens uh i'm definitely doing videos on that when it drops uh I might update the cutscenes video and stuff uh we'll see what happens i'm wondering if they're gonna give us new soul emblems and stuff because that would be interesting but i don't know but for now that's it for kakarot uh i don't know when the battle gods dlc is coming out i'm assuming next month so uh we for the next we probably won't have a video on kakarot in a while besides well i haven't uploaded the video about the the whole in z encyclopedia there's still a few more videos we have like two or three more but after that uh we won't get a video until battle of gods dlc on kakarot so 
Stay tuned for that. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Hit a hit that like button down below. And if you like this video that much, put it into your favorites place. Looking at the Bulma. You don't. Okay, she didn't say anything. Good. But yeah, go go put this in your favorites playlist if you like liked it that much and if you want to support the channel then please share it around as much as you can you know post it on your social me social media all that stuff you know just share it around as much as you can so because i need to i'm trying to hit my a thousand subscribers we're almost at 100 soon which means you're getting that special thing i've talked about before so once we hit 100 you get that but i mean the the main goal right now is a thousand so if y'all could like share around the video post it on your social media show your mom your grandma whoever just you know ask them to subscribe real quick and yeah, then I can hit my 1,000 subscribers. So thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, like I said, slap a like, drop a comment. And if you liked it that much, put in your favorite playlist. So until next time, I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good day, y'all.